What it do YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. All right, this video here is gonna show you how to charge your Rockford Fallsgate 10 farad competition capacitor. So right now I got the negative and the negative terminal, okay, which is the yellow to negative, blue to positive. And then this right here, the negative, is gonna go towards the battery and then the positive 12 volt is gonna to go towards the battery. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. It's supposed to be at least 13 volts, but I'm about to go ahead and set the timer for you guys to see how long it really takes to charge this capacitor. So I will go ahead and show you guys. Okay, as you can see on there, the blue is in the plus, the yellow is in the negative, and this light right here, the green light, should turn on and then it should start charging and the battery that i am using is the optima red top so should be pretty good so about to go ahead and find out all right as you guys can see the green light came on will be like a little bit of smoke but don't worry about that you guys all right and it should just go away so right now it's at Once the once the light green light goes away, then it should be fully charged. So we're gonna see how long it takes. Now I'm about to go ahead and um, pause the video, then I'm gonna come right back once it's done. Well, as you guys can see, I came back. Right now it is at three minutes and 40 seconds. Now the manual says it takes at least 10 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and test that theory. So as you guys can see, I went ahead and kicked the camera back on because right now it says low. It didn't say that for five minutes, you guys, five minutes. So obviously it's doing something and it's working. Now this is just for people who are do it yourselves and you don't have all the right equipment, get you a battery, wire it up just the way it is. And then it should take at least 10 minutes to charge. So I'm just trying to show you guys that, you know, you can do it yourself at home. So you guys, right now it still says low and it's at seven minutes and 15 seconds right now. So I'm not sure, man, because if it says it takes 10 minutes, I really do believe it takes longer than 10 minutes, unless you're just pumping some high current. But you know, these wires are really small, so it's like, how much can you really feed through these wires? I mean, you can hook up a zero gauge, but what is, the, what is it gonna serve? What purpose is it gonna serve if the gauge wire is this big and then you got this thin speaker wire? But we're gonna go ahead and see what it does. I'm gonna come right back. I'm just doing segments after segments to keep you guys updated. Cause I don't wanna make this video too long. I wanna make it short and simple for you guys. So I wanted to show you guys that I was not lying. See what it says? The green light is still on. It clearly says the capacitor is charged. If the green light goes out, this will take approximately 10 minutes. Guys, right now we are at nine minutes and 24 seconds and it still says low. So only thing that I can suggest is maybe it's because, I, I don't know, you guys comment down below, but I'm assuming it's a slow charge. Maybe this thing is completely dead because this thing would not, I didn't even get this light until like seven minutes. So I'm assuming this thing is really dead. So I'm not gonna come back to you guys until it starts showing me wattage. So, I mean, not wattage, volts, I apologize. So I'll be right back, you guys. All right, you guys, we now got a reading. Right now it is at 8.69 volt, okay? This is at 13 minutes. Well, literally this happened at 13 and 40 seconds. I heard him put on the camera. So obviously right now we're doing progress. So I got a red top Optima battery, so it should be giving this thing some juice, but just expect to be waiting longer, longer than 10 minutes, you guys, okay? This is a full demonstration for you guys, okay? All right, you guys, we just hit nine volts at 16 minutes you guys nine volt Whew, man i'm thinking this is going to take at least about 20 minutes but once we get to 10 volts i'm gonna come right back all right you guys <clears throat> we're approaching 10 volts right now we're at 20 minutes so we're gonna see exactly how long it takes to really hit 10 volts buying this capacitor brand new with no charge so we're gonna see how long it takes to get to 10 volts Right now it's fluctuating. It's been doing that because it's 
obviously charging. So, okay, now it's stable at 9.59 at 20 minutes and 55 seconds. So in reality, probably gonna be like, oh, okay. We're at 9.67 volts. So I will be back once we hit 10. Green light's still on, capacitor turned off. We're at 10 volts. So I believe it took 26 minutes to get to 10 volts, you guys. You know, like I said, man, be prepared because it's not gonna be five minutes, it's not gonna be 10. These things are completely dead. So right now I'm charging it until this green light goes off and then I will be doing an installation of it. So like I said, if you are new to this channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe because I will be doing a video of me installing this because I'm running three T110s and some other stuff that you guys gotta see. So like I said, man, make sure you do subscribe and turn on those post notifications because I know you guys love audio and bass and stuff like that and you don't wanna miss what I'm about to do. But we're gonna come back once this is completely done. So grab your popcorn. It's gonna be about two seconds for you guys. All right, you guys, right now the capacitor is now charged. The green diode just went off. I'm gonna go ahead and stop that. So it took about 44 minutes to charge this. So I'm just letting you guys know, it takes 44 minutes to charge a capacitor. So if you have any other questions, go feel free to comment down below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Peace.